Eric Smith say, do I have any commercial accounts? If not, why? From my experience in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, everybody, when it comes down to commercial properties, they tend to go with the cheapest bid. Like I told y'all before, the median, the median in Ocean Springs, every year they have a new company because somebody's always putting a low bid in. All of these commercial accounts around here, they're not, they're not paying anything. And my, my minimum is too high to get a commercial property. Uh, and not only that, it's, they, it's a chain of command they gotta go through for you to do anything extra. So like if I pull up a tree that fell down, I, I'd be like, look, I can cut this tree up and haul it out of here, it's gonna be three grand. Okay, let me send it to court. You done emailed, you done emailed who paying you to check. You done emailed them about the quote for the tree. All right, they got the email corporate. Corporate got to approve it. They got to approve a work order, send it back to you. Then you got to do the job. You got to take pictures and you got to wait on the check. It's just, it's, it's too many, it's, it's too, from my experience, commercial, you got, it's too much red tape to jump through. For a homeowner, tree fall, hey man, two grand to get it out. I chop it up, I pay it the same day. That's why I like residential. I get paid the same doggone day as soon as I get done. I should have probably caught that light. Can I back up? It's too late to back up. So do I have commercial accounts? No, I don't. Do I want commercial accounts? No, I don't. I want to be with homeowners and get get out of there. 